We have here the Echo, the Pulsar, PPT2620. Here's the manual. The tools. And the strap. Looks pretty nice. Let's go ahead and put that to the side. Get some scissors, cut that off. We do have some loose bolts here. Get there. Hopefully, no, no, hopefully nothing is missing. This is pretty sturdy. Feels pretty nice. So here's the instructions. First we have to remove the caps from the handle assembly. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that cap right there. Just a plastic cap. It's the one that's on the motor. It says pull flexible loosen clamp bolts A on drive shaft. So we're gonna loosen the bolts. I'm not sure which side. Okay, they are, they're already loose, so about two or three inches out of the handle assembly, it says to pull it two or three inches. It's about two inches. I'm going to go ahead and insert it there. I guess it went in. We're gonna go ahead and tighten them up. There's a lock. So we went ahead, flipped the bar over. So the bolts are facing that way. That way when you put the head on it, it's gonna line up the right way. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten them up. We're gonna tighten these two up right there. Gonna snug these. Just make sure it doesn't come loose. It's right there, it's tight. We're gonna go ahead and do this. 
from where the little saw attachment is we're gonna loosen the two screws and we're gonna remove the locator screw so we're gonna loosen these two and we're gonna remove this one we're gonna go ahead and insert it right there we're gonna loosen this one Inches, that's about five inches. Slide back in. So okay, so this one you pull it, and the little rod is gonna keep sticking out. So it's gonna expose the inner drive shaft. Right there, just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and install the saw head without the screw. So I currently have the rod upside down and I also have the, so it did lock there into place. And we're gonna go ahead and install the little locator screw. So we're gonna tighten this locator screw up flip it around and we're gonna go ahead and tighten these two up with that we tighten this one up to the level you want it and we're gonna go ahead and add the oil here make sure you use the oil that's recommended for it we're gonna use the echo chain oil chain oil echo chain oil this did not come with the saw, so you have to buy this separately. Make sure you buy the oil separately, otherwise you won't be able to work. Let's go ahead and fill it up. All right, we're gonna go ahead and fill it up. We have the towel here. Good. Let's go ahead and fill it up with gas. It says right there you have to use 50 to 1 gasoline ratio. 
We have here the 50 to 1. So you can mix the gas with the gasoline or you can buy the pre-made ones from the store. This is a lot more expensive. They both work fine. So the gas, you have to also buy it separately. It does not come with any gasoline. Okay, we're going to go ahead and add the gasoline right here. You can usually find the oil and the gasoline at your Home Depot or Walmart. In comparison to the Ryobi two cycle with the attachment, you can see the difference already. You can still expand this one so that's the shortest it goes and it's still even longer than that one so let's go ahead and expand it so you can see so if you want to expand this you just loosen this one that's where all the way it goes you tighten this one and i really like this feature it's really long let me show you from far away. So that's a small little saw right there. And that's expanded right there. It's really nice. So this is the project we have today. We're going to cut this bad boy down. Let's go ahead and start. Yeah. <laughs> 